Up All Night by Aaron Lee Tazjan, wrapping up that set of Globe tracks. It's the Breakfast Blend with Amelia, Colin, and Gabe on 91.1 The Globe. It's 17 with a high of 35, and we're still on a flood watch. It's 9.15, 9.16, actually, excuse me. Okay, guys, it's time to continue our fun advice-giving session. Are you ready? I'm very so ready. All right, so I asked the people, you know, the people who listen, to send me what they need advice on in their lives. So you two might not remember that, but it's okay, because it's on my YouTube channel, at Amelia Lee TV, for those wondering. And they sent me advice. They found my email on my YouTube and sent me questions to ask their advice for. You know, I changed it up a bit, like I jazzed up their voices, so you can't tell who they are for privacy's sake. And now we have four in our inbox. We already talked about two of them and we have two more to give our advice on because as everyone knows, we are very good at giving advice here on the Tuesday morning breakfast blend. We're very- Yeah, obviously. Very good 100% at it. 100% blindly, blindly follow. What? Blindly Bl follow. Blindly advice. follow, exactly. Yeah, don't even think. Exactly. <laughs> so here we go. The first situation, I feel like we've all seen this happen right before our eyes if you go to Goshen College. So are you ready? I'm so ready. Dear Amelia's Breakfast Blend, I'm a commuter, and the other night I slept in the game room because I didn't want to go home with my mom. We got into a whole fight about prepping the dinner table, and I told her I'm a grown adult now. And so I just decided I'm going to sleep in the game room and not go home. I don't know. I haven't confronted my mom since. I've been staying with people on campus. What should I do? Should I help out more around the house? Setting the dinner table is not that hard. No, it's really not. Go home. Grow up. <laughs> Grow up and go home. I mean, I don't know what else to say to that. <laughs> let, let me put it this way. If you're going to be going to college and living at home, your room and board payment should at least be setting the table. That's, that's very true. Exactly. Yeah. yeah, honestly, just talk to your mom. You're living at home, so you should probably pitch in since you're most likely living rent-free. Yeah, mom's helping, mom's helping you out while you're in school. Exactly. Help mom out a little bit too. Exactly, and you probably don't want to be sleeping in the game room. It's not um, that's very safe. That's not ideal. That's safe. It's just not ideal. Well, yeah, and then everyone yeah. has to walk past you sleeping yeah. in the game room. Yeah, it's just kind of awkward. <laughs> it's a very awkward situation. Want to go play some ping pong? Nope, they're sleeping in the game room tonight. <laughs> yeah, they still play ping pong down there though. That's yeah, the it's really loud in the game room while they're sleeping. Oh my gosh. Okay, so our advice for them is. Um, Go grow up. Yeah. Go home and grow up. All right. And our last situation, our last piece of advice that we are going to be giving today. Here we go. Dear Amelia's Breakfast One, my parents bought a dog after ours died and they didn't ask for my permission. And they said it would be fine because I technically moved out and started living on campus, but it still hurts that they were able to replace our dog, our family dog that we had for years in just a matter of weeks. Should I address this with them? Or should I try to embrace the new dog? What do you think? Get, uh, grow up. Get over it. <laughs> oh embrace gosh. the new dog. It's not, I mean, I'm sorry that your dog is dead. <laughs> but when you have your own house and you live with your own people, you can make your own decisions. Just I... like your parents did to get a new dog. Oh my gosh. Okay, Colin. It's a new dog. Yeah. Who doesn't like a new dog? I don't know. We should have empathy for this person. You know, they just I'm lost sorry that your dog. dog died, but I you don't have bad. a right to put a hold on your parents buying dogs <laughs> because you're not over it. I, I do I do feel bad that the, the old dog died. Mm -hmm. It's a very sad day when a dog dies. It is, yeah. But you got a new dog now. Yeah. Who does like who doesn't love a puppy? Unless there's a missing context here. Unless they got like the exact like your dog that died's name is Sparky. And they got the exact same kind of dog and, <laughs> and named, they it, named Sparky. it Sparky. That might be something, but I'm assuming this is not that exclusive case. No. It's so not. it's it's a new I dog. Assume. Embrace the dog. That's I would say embrace the dog. You know, he needs love too. And you know, let's let's be empathetic for this person as and an you're not empath. Home either you live on campus. <laughs> we just shouldn't be empathetic for this person. They can't be empathetic for their parents or a new dog. <laughs> you get what you give. <laughs> hey, it's a new dog. Love it. Enjoy the new dog. There you go. Have a blast. I think that we gave really good advice, and I definitely I believe that people will be emailing me with more of the advice that they want. From I hope they email you. us. I'm yeah. so ready for this advice. Right? Giving. So I if need you, some advice. Exactly, exactly. If you want advice, send me an audio recording of your situation via email, which you can find on my YouTube. It's at Amelia Lee TV. 
and we'll get back to you as soon as we can. Sports with Gabe and then weather and then music with Face Down in the Moment by Aaron Lee Tazjian on 91.1 The Globe, your station for culturally progressive music.